Hello everybody, good morning. It is March the 1st, 20 past 9. I thought I would attempt to do like a monthly vlog. Because so, so little is happening a lot of the time, I don't really have enough content to film vlogs often. But I thought maybe if I do one over the span of a month, I don't know, I thought we would try on March and see how it goes and maybe I will do it every month, I don't know. So, so yeah, it's March the 1st. This month, I don't know if anyone remembers, but this time last year, I started March by challenging myself to walk 10,000 steps every day for one week. This month, I wanna try and go for a walk every single day. Um, I'm not necessarily going to try and aim for 10,000 steps every day, but I want to try and get out for a walk every day. I would say for like a minimum of half an hour, but I would probably end up doing more a lot of the time. But like maybe if it's like a rainy day and the range just isn't letting up, that I'll just try and get out for 20, 30 minutes. A lot of the time, because you're supposed to do 10,000 steps a day, a lot of the time I aim for, instead I aim for 70,000 steps a week because that still kind of balances out as the same, but it means if I do a 20,000 step walk on one day, then I can have a day off the next day. So, yep, yeah, that's the thing. I'm just about to start doing something for my dad's birthday. Uh, I did mention it in my last video, but if you didn't watch it, oh, the lighting is awful. If you didn't watch that, then I forgive you, but would recommend you go watch it. This box, and I'm planning to decoupage it. Um, with all of these newspaper things from the year he was born. And this is just going to be a box filled with things from the year he was born. Um, I did already attempt to decoupage this box, as you can see. But something happened. Because I've printed all of these out, they're not original newspaper. These are all from my printer. All the ink was running when i was putting the glue on top it was all turning like pink and it looked really disgusting and i read online that if you put the paper in the freezer then it won't do that so they've been in the freezer for over a day now and i'm really hoping that it's going to work because it looked awful and i have like a vision of how i want this to look and i want it completely monochrome and i want it all just black and white so if this doesn't work i'm I will probably persevere with it and just accept the fact that it's going to look shit. Um, but I would really rather that this technique did work. So I'm hoping that it will because I've spent a lot of time doing that. But I will fill you in more with how this gift is going and things like that a little later on in the vlog. Because I don't want to say that I am... Um, doing a monthly vlog because I don't have enough content and then talk for 40 minutes. So I'm gonna stop now and get on with what I'm doing because I need to start this. I need to go for a walk at some point. So yeah, my dad's birthday's on the 14th. So the first half of this month really needs to be focused on doing this gift because it's not just doing this box, it's other things too. But we'll talk about that a bit more when the time is right. It is now 2.37 and I'm going for my walk. I was originally going to go for a morning walk, but my phone said it would be nice and sunny in the afternoon. That was a lie. So, yeah, I'm just going now anyway. So fashionable. Um, I finished the box. Um, there's still something I need to put on top, but other than that, it's finished. I didn't... Hey neighbour, whoever's banging out there could just stop, thanks. I didn't end up technically decoupaging it because the ink was still running. So this is all just stuck down with Pritt stick. So there's not like a nice sheen on top of it, which is a bit disappointing, but I really wanted just a monochrome look. I didn't want like the pink that was coming out for some reason from the ink. So yeah, I'm happy with it though. I think it looks pretty cool. I'll show you in the mirror as well because then you can see all sides of it. I haven't done the bottom, obviously. That would be a waste of my time. But 
there's my box. So I've got fresh bedding on. That'll be lovely after I have my bath tonight. And then I've got nice clean sheets. But for now, I'm going on a walk. It says it's six degrees, but with the wind, it feels like two degrees. And I'm just going out in a hoodie, so I will see how I get on. I might come back frozen. Oh well. Hello, hello, hello. Don't know why I've still got this cardigan on because I am so hot. Well, let's be honest, I'm probably going to get cold because it's very cold in here. <sighs> Hi, excuse my hair. <coughs> it has got a uh, mind of its own. I hate this angle, so bear with me. I know that we're in. Oh, fucking hell. If you could see my desk right now, it is a tip. Um. I know I'm sat in the exact same place that I was in the last clip, but it is in fact a week later because it is the 8th of March. I had an offensively bad sleep, so I've currently got a salted caramel ice latte. For some extra caffeine. Um, well, it's not really anything to update you on too much but i just thought can't really do a weekly vlog and then you know not vlog anything so yeah i did manage to go out and do 10,000 steps every day last week a mid what a minimum of 10,000 steps some days i did more i ended up doing about 80,000 for the week in total and i'm just really pleased that i managed to actually leave the house every day and go on a walk um I feel really, I feel a bit shit today. I've just been to the post office and I went for a little 20 minute walk after that. But um, I feel so tired from my shit sleep. Um, it's that time of the month, so I just feel pretty groggy overall. Um, I might do a little mini step workout a bit later to get my steps up a bit because I'm only at 4,000 at the minute. But um, I really need to do my dad's birthday present because his birthday is this Sunday which means I have got like five six days um and I'm not that far with it um my desk has turned into a craft station there's just craft crap everywhere but um yeah so I showed you guys the box that I did and now I'm just working on a scrapbook which looks like this at the minute um And it's just all about the year he was born, much like the box that I've done. Um, and I'm currently just working through the new stories of that year. So we've got January, February, and that's all I've done so far. So I've got to got to get a move on with that. And I think the printer's running out of ink, so I'm not really sure how I'm gonna manage to do it all. So that's great. Um, today's March the 8th today we've got like a slight lockdown lift it's not like uh, a major of course someone's got their drill out right now oh, yeah, yeah, what I would give to live in the middle of nowhere in the countryside I'm just gonna keep vlogging and hopefully that that noise isn't too distracting from moi the main event um where even was i <laughs> i forgot where i was oh yeah march the 8th so from today kids have gone back to school and uh you're allowed to meet up with someone not from your household and it doesn't have to be for exercise you can go for meet for a coffee or something on a bench socially distanced um my sister is starting a new job today which is very exciting for her um so i can't go and meet up with her on a bench for a coffee because she's starting a new job um she please be quiet <laughs> i can't take it i'm so tired and march the 8th also marks one year since i last went to london it was one year ago today I had my last trip to London. I didn't know it would be my last, but there you go. 
And I think my dad's birthday is actually the year anniversary of when I went to work for the last time as well. I'm pretty sure it was his birthday that I... Yeah. It was. So, a year without London. Nearly a year without work. I can't believe it's been a year. It's absolutely bonkers. How has it been a year? Doesn't compute in my tiny little brain. But, yeah. Um, so, what's the time? Quarter to twelve. Fuck knows how it, we're at quarter to twelve already. I need to crack on with my scrapbook. So today, what I've got to do, I've got to do some scrapbooking. Try and get 6,000 steps in. And I need to catch up with last night's Dancing on Ice. I wanted to stay up late to watch the Harry and Meghan interview, but I don't know if I will stay up for that because I'm very tired. Oh my God, look at the states of me. Let me just hobble over to my desk. Oh my God. <gasps> I actually look so, I know how I feel to be honest. Oh my God. Oh. I genuinely feel broken. I went out on like the biggest walk I've done in ages today. It was worth it because it's actually just like the nicest day. It's just been so sunny and warm. I even wore a skirt without any tights on. Uh, oh my gosh. I hurt everywhere. I, I walked almost 10 miles. <sighs> I feel knackered, I do. It was so nice to go out there. Like, it felt like May, June out there. Like, it feels so... Do you know what? It didn't even feel like spring. It felt like summer. I'm going to go ahead and say it. I've done 23,000 steps. So that means if I wanted to, I could not do anything tomorrow. Because I've already done an extra 10,000. But, uh, yeah. I'm too tired. Um, yeah. I went, I was trying to get my mum something for Mother's Day. And it's all a bit of shit. Especially when you're on like the tightest budget in the world. I got her a box of chocolates, but I can't seem to find anything else that's kind of like affordable that she would like. So, don't know what to do about that. Um, yeah. Don't really know why I uh, started vlogging, to be honest. I'm going to stop. Hello, everybody. It is March the 11th, Thursday, and um, I just wrapped my mum's Mother's Day present. And I thought I would wrap my dad's birthday presents. Um, so I thought I'd show you what I got my dad for his birthday. I haven't finished my scrapbook thing yet because we've run out of printer ink. Uh, the black one came today and the colour one was supposed to come but it didn't come with it. So I'm kind of just like... Um, excuse me, I need to finish this by Sunday. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty worrying. But I thought, as I can't do anything with my scrapbook right now, I will wrap the other presents. That is, without a doubt, just the worst ponytail I've ever seen in my life. <sighs> I need to wash my hair. <laughs> in case she couldn't tell. Uh, God, she needs a haircut too. I think we better forego the ponytail and go for the bum. Um, I've had a horrible week. I've had a week of emotion. It's been a, a, like a PMS week. It's been a shit news week. It's been, a week where I've not felt very well a lot of the time and I'm honestly just really looking forward to my dad's birthday on Sunday 
so we can just have a nice day. I'm even gonna, I'm gonna crack open the Bucks Fizz for breakfast. It's normally something we only do once a year, Christmas day, but fuck it. It's not every day. Your poor old dad has to have a lockdown 60th birthday, so we're gonna drink. <laughs> um, right, so here are the other little bits what I've got him for his birthday. Now I'm gonna say that I know to a lot of people this probably doesn't look like a lot of presents for someone's 60th birthday, but I actually spent more money than I've ever spent on anyone's birthday. It just doesn't really look like it. Um, and I am so broke now. But um, first thing I got him were some jelly babies, except they're not, he likes jelly babies, by the way, they're one of his favorites. Um, except the difference is these are geliatrics they brought out geliatrics as a kind of oh here we go celebrating 100 years of jelly babies so they're the exact same as jelly babies but they're shaped in old people which i thought was an apt present as often i just went out of storage on my phone but hopefully that won't be too much of an issue um next thing i got was a cookbook this is tom carriage's best ever dishes now i know he's a big fan of tom carriage so i thought that was a good one to get and i'm so pleased with this bargain my friends because this book on the back it says 25 pounds so the rrp was 25 pounds sales on amazon for just under 18 pounds something just fell in my room there's a ghost I picked it up in the WH Smith clearance for not one, not two, not three, but four of your English pounds. What a bloody bargain is that? 18 quid on Amazon, I got it for four quid. I was bloody chuffed. I might even write a little message in it. My dad always used to write little messages when he bought us books when I was little, so I might do that. I know it's really annoying to some people but I like it and when I used to work in a charity shop I used to like reading it as well when people have written in books I really enjoyed that oh some of this stuff looks yummy I might actually go grab a pen in a second do it before I forget and then the last sort of thing that I got for just random presents I got him a 60s coloring book because whenever he sees me coloring I'm such a bitch he always says to me can I have a go at that one day and I go sorry no because <laughs> I'm so horrible but like I don't want him to take a page that I want to do because I'm such a cow so I bought him his own and it's all 60s patterns and he was born in the 60s and it's all fun like that and then I also bought him his own pencil case with some pencils and felt tip pens now I'm not gonna lie to you, my local high street, obviously we're in a lockdown, right? The storage on this phone is actually shocking. I don't know how much longer I can vlog for because I don't have that much left to delete on this phone. Oh, it's slipping. Right, Um. yeah, the pretty much all the shops are obviously shut apart from essential shops. So my local high street is shit. I only had like WH Smith, Wilkinson's and Poundland to go in. Will you stop slipping, please? My phone keeps slipping um and yeah trying to find a pencil case that hasn't got like unicorns and stuff in was impossible so i picked up this in poundland and i think it's fucking cute look at that little robot how cute is he and he looks like he's wearing glasses and my dad wears glasses i honestly think he looks like what my dad would look like if he was a robot cute and yeah i just got some pencils and felt tips because i don't know what his preferred medium is media medium i can't God, I did GCSE art and I can't remember. I don't remember what his preferred utensil is. So yeah, cute. And yeah, I will show you the complete box and scrapbook and stuff when I'm done. Hopefully it won't take me too much longer because it is the absolute pain of my existence. I haven't enjoyed doing it in the slightest and I want my life back because it's pretty much all I've focused my time on for the past week, two weeks. And my room has become a tip. It's disgusting in here. I honestly can't wait. 
for next week where I can just get my life back together. But yeah, I'm gonna sit here, wrap these presents up and export some of this vlog footage onto my laptop so I don't keep running out of storage. <laughs> That's too low, isn't it? Yeah. Or is it? I don't know. Hang on. If I just lean here and talk for a minute. Um, I finally finished my dad's project. It took me all day today. I started about half seven. And it's half four. Oh my god. And I fake tanned last night and I haven't even showered it off yet. So it's been on my body for almost 24 hours. It's not going to be a pretty look. Yeah, so I'm just going to quickly show you the present and then wrap it up and then have a shower and then have some dinner and then we're going to send my dad upstairs and he can have like a bath and watch a film and stuff in his room while me and my mum like decorate the house for his birthday, which is tomorrow. This is my box, you've already seen it. Um, I'm going to show you everything that's in the box. Because I don't remember if I already did that. And if I did, I'm sorry for repeating everything. Um, I have got an original dandy comic from 1961. I'm just going to leave it in that thing though. I'm just going to repack the box as I go, I think. an annual a boys annual it's just um comic strips and stories actually yeah it's not my sort of thing i've got some meccano magazines everything that you see i got from ebay ebay was my best best friend and none of it was hideously expensive either it all came to an expensive amount, but none of it individually was expensive. Like, I think I lucked out. Um, I've got a Chelsea program. Some postcards that people sent that year. Can you believe I got this on eBay? It's too cool. So this one is actually from Russia. And it's written from someone who I find stuff like this really interesting so if you don't I'm sorry if you think this is boring but basically for a start it's to John dear John and it's from Steve now my dad's name is Steve and he has a brother called John so I really liked that and it says dear John here's a card by way of revolutionary greetings we're really looking forward to the demo in Red Square on November the 7th had had fantastic we went something to Mark's shrine can't really make out this guy's writing my Russian improves slowly but practice with comms comsomol does want wonders Especially as two thirds of group are girls. See you in January 1963. Till then, all the best, Steve. So this person was obviously in Russia for some reason for two years, maybe more. I don't know, but I think that's really cool. And then I've got two postcards here. And this one is from Worthing, which I liked because that's where my dad grew up. He was born in London, but he grew up in Worthing and then moved to Kent when he was a teenager I think um having a wonderful time weather was perfect had a full day up in the something yesterday have been something every day can't read what that is but that's from July 1961 and then this one here is from Canterbury which is really near to where I live and it was actually addressed to Rochester which is super clear super close to where I live and this one I can't make out at all, this person has hideous handwriting, but it's from September 61. So that's that. I've also got a little coin. This is a little, I think it's a threepence. A couple of books. These two 
are original ones so these are actually from 1961 these are two lady ladybird books this one's great inventions and this one is all about london these books here aren't original copies from 61 but they are books that were released in 61 this is stranger in a strange land revolutionary road and the winter of our discontent three films from the year we've got the misfits marilyn monroe film lover came back doris day film and 101 dalmatians i've also got three products that were released that year sprite came out that year sprite was is the same age as my dad um i could murder this right now i'm so parched head and shoulders was also released that year very exciting and coffee mate but the main thing that i have busted my balls working on for the past week is my 1961 scrapbook so I won't bore you too much with the whole thing. Uh, fun fact though, 1961 was, hang on, it was the first upside down year since 1881. The next such year will be in the year 6009. And by upside down year, they mean it looks the same either way up. You know what I mean? Uh, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, so this is my scrapbook <laughs> I start with the headlines of the year where I just each page has got well each two pages have got like January February these are all the headlines news stories for the year so I won't bore you too much with all of those but I learnt so much I genuinely feel like if I went on mastermind this year could be my specialist subject. I have learnt so much and retained a lot of information. And then we go on to what people were watching at the cinema, listening to music and stuff, TV, books. So these are all the film posters from films that came out that year. Television, books, music. This like loads of musical facts and pictures and stuff. And I made him a playlist of all the top songs of that year and I did like a Spotify code that he can scan to listen to it. Um, and there's like every celebrity that was born in the same year as him. Um, how much things cost back then and brands and products that came out the, that year like the Ken doll, Pampers were launched that year, Mother Care. Um, advertising and magazine covers, the fashion, couldn't actually find too much on that because I was being very year specific not decade it was hard to find things just for that year. These are some pictures from Vogue from that year and then there's a little picture of him when he was little and then I've just got like some some photos that were important to that year and then the end and then um once you're done with this section you close the book flip it up this side and it turns into something a little bit more personal where it's got loads of facts about like like six when you're 60 like how many days you've been alive how old you are in dog years <laughs> <laughs> dumb shit like that and then there's just family photos and stuff which fill up the rest of the book until you get back to that page so yeah that took me forever and a day um mainly because my printer i used so much ink i've gone through loads of ink and then having to wait for ink to arrive and stuff like that so it took a really long time but um yeah i'm so fucking happy to be done with that and i can't wait to wrap it up and be done forever so yeah i'm not gonna vlog much more because i need to get on and do that hello hello today is it's Monday evening, I'm just popping on very quickly. 
<clears throat> just running a bath at the minute. It's about quarter to six in the evening. And yeah, I just thought I would let you know that my present went down well for my dad's birthday. He liked it a lot. And <clears throat> despite it being a pretty sad way to spend your 60th birthday, I think he had a nice day because, you know, as nice as it could have been under these lockdown circumstances. Um, <clears throat> there are two vases of flowers in my house that are making my hay fever crazy. But apart from that, all is well. Just brushing my hair to put it up for my bath. Um, yeah. That's it really, that's all I had to say was that we had a nice day yesterday. Mm. A bird has shat on my window so what an awesome. Hello, good morning. Today is the first sunny day in what feels like forever. So I am going out for a walk. Um, I left it a bit late, it's like half 11 now, which is late to me. Um, but my bra strap keeps fucking falling down and then it keeps twisting. Very annoying. Um, and yeah, I think we'll have a little catch up when I get home about some stuff. This is my outfit. I did have the shirt tucked in, but uh, I don't know. I can't really make it work. I kind of just wanted like half of this bit tucked in but it wasn't really working it looked kind of sloppy I don't get how the fashion girls do it um but this is my outfit everything I'm wearing is second hand of course it is it's me and apart from my sunglasses my sunglasses are one of the biggest bargains I've never had. I've had them for years. I've got them in TK Maxx. I mean, to be honest, I'm surprised I paid the money for them. I paid 25 quid for them, which is a lot of money to me. But they are Moschino sunglasses, and I wear them all the time. And I've had them for years, so I've definitely got me money's worth. Um, yes, taking my trusty second-hand Kate Spade handbag that I have had for years and years and years going for my walk so long farewell Tillo hello hello it is now much much later we're talking like 10 past 5 in the afternoon and I have kind of left it a bit late to be vlogging because I actually need to go and have a bath before my dinner. I can't be too long because I want to try and make sure I get, you know, at least 20, 30 minutes in the bath. Um, oh. oh dear, I'm very disheveled. What has happened? My, oh, we've. I think this is hay fever related and like watery eye. It doesn't look very good, does it? Um. Oh, guys, I'm getting really grey and it's really upsetting me because obviously my roots are so grown out now and I haven't bleached it in so long. I've probably been this grey for years, but just didn't realise because I was bleaching my hair so often. But pretty much every time I've dyed like this part of my hair i haven't really put any up here so this is all just virgin hair so i need to get back to bleaching because because <laughs> i'm going gray um i'm finding it really hard to adjust to hair for like normal hair because it gets so greasy so quickly whereas when it was bleached it was so much it was such lower maintenance it's really annoying having to adjust to just this dark hair um 
oh my god it was so good to get out and have a day in the sun well not a day i was only out for like three hours but um a nice long walk in the sun what how many steps am i at today i'm at 17,670. um pretty happy with that i suppose i expect i'll probably get to 8,000 by the end of the day um 18,000 not 8,000 um yeah just nice to be out i do just enjoy going out in the sun but um i literally hoovered this floor yesterday and it's fucking covered in dust and crap from my boots that's why you shouldn't really wear your shoes indoors there's literally just Oh God, there's mud all over my floor and I literally hoovered yesterday. I'm, so, I'm such a disappointment. Um, yeah, I basically have a little bit of a, I basically have a little bit of a life update and a necklace hair entanglement situation. Um, I am, as of last week officially an unemployed human being for anyone that doesn't follow me on instagram i know i think probably most of you watching this follow at least one of my instagram so you probably know that already but yeah unemployed for the first time since i was 19 19 I think technically I don't know it's hard I never know when to count my work life as because I started volunteering when I was 18 and then I just got offered a paid job in the same place like a year later but you know I worked there for four and a half years but got paid for not the first it's hard for me to work out but basically um yeah, I'm unemployed for the first time since I was basically a teenager. Um, I hadn't been to my job since last March, um, March the 14th. Um, and that was my choice at the time because we did, the place where I worked at didn't like officially close until like a couple of weeks after, but I was basically like, I only worked part-time, I only worked 10 hours a week and I just thought I don't really want to risk getting COVID for 10 hours a week of work so I basically said I'm not coming back in until I feel ready and then you know a year passed and my boss was kind of like do you know when you're kind of thinking about wanting to come back do you want to come back and I was kind of just like do you know what I don't think I do because there was nothing against the job or anything really it was just the hours weren't enough you know I'm 26 years old I should probably realistically be working more than 10 hours a week I should be thinking about trying to move out or maybe thinking about buying a car and <laughs> Uh, having some refresher lessons or something like that like I should probably be thinking more about what I want to do long term but you know I worked in that job for I can't remember why do I get I always get the years 2013 and 2014 messed, uh, mixed around I worked there since 2014 so and I started in the January so if I hadn't missed out on this last year, then I would have been working there for seven years. And yeah, I feel like that is a long time to stay in a job, especially when we're, you're only working such a small amount of time a week. Um, yeah, as scared as I am to move on and find something else, I think it's something I need to just make myself do just because of, you know, my age and my financial situation and my living situation like I don't necessarily you know still be living at home when I'm 30 um so I took a plunge and I'm hoping to make 
a big leap somewhere. Um, I don't have any idea what I want to do. Over the past years, I've obviously looked at jobs on and off and thought about other jobs I could do because I was only working part time. And I came to the conclusion that there is such a long list of jobs I know I don't want to do. And there is just nothing on the list of jobs I do want to do. <laughs> um, or, I, or I'm really good at just finding obstacles for why I can't do the jobs I do want to do. So it's like, yeah, in an ideal world, maybe I could say that I wanted to be a photographer because I love taking photos, but then I have all these lists of obstacles as well. You can't be a photographer because you don't have a degree in photography or you don't know all the settings on your camera or you have no experience or you don't know how to use Photoshop, all things like that. So once I get in my head about things like that, then I just can talk myself out of any situation. Um, it's one of my best traits. Um, pretty confident I don't want to go back to retail if the right thing arose then possibly I would um I didn't love retail so um I don't know I really do need to go and have a bath so maybe I shouldn't have started this conversation right now um but yeah I'm also not I am looking kind of at the jobs available every day. I just sort of pop on some of the apps that I've got on my iPad and I do have a little look, but I don't think I'm realistically looking to start anything until I've had my first or maybe and second vaccine. I don't really feel like, I'm, I'm still a little bit scared to just get out there. And I mean, we've had a whole year where we've not really seen anyone done anything. So I think it would be probably a little bit too much for me to just say yes I'm gonna start a job next week like I feel like mentally that's probably not the best thing for me to do so I feel like I want to wait for the pandemic to ease up a bit I think I'm just gonna have to accept that this year I'm gonna be more skint than I've ever been in my adult life um because yeah I left work in March had a couple of furlough payments but but I wasn't on furlough for the whole time. So I think I got my last furlough payment in like July. So that was the last time I had like a bit of steady money coming in. Apart from like, I've made a little bit of money from like selling stuff on eBay and stuff, but yeah. I, uh, I think I just have to accept the fact that I'm just gonna be really, really skint this year. Um, but yeah, that's my life update. It's been four years this summer since I last made an update telling you I left my job. Um, so, yeah, I feel really pale. I think I need to fake tan again. I think that needs to be on the cards pretty soon. It's been a week since I last fake tanned and it has clearly not lasted. Um, I'm gonna go and have my bath now, I think. Love that for me. I will speak with you a little bit later on another day. And it is Monday morning. We are on the last Monday of March. Is that true? No, it's not true. This isn't the last Monday of March. Anyway, it's the last full week of March. I think that's kind of what I meant to say. Um... Yeah, I'd actually totally forgotten that March has isn't just four weeks long like February was. So that now means I still have to walk next week as well. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, because I was originally going to say that we're like on the home stretch. Like this, I've just got one walk week left of walking to do, but that's not true. Um, but I'm well on track for my... So basically, I wanted to do... Uh, like 70,000 steps every week because that works out technically as 10,000 steps a day even if some days you don't do that. Uh, I didn't manage it on week two but I have brought my thing back up so that it doesn't matter. I'm still on, I think I need, to, I think 470 is a 280. So I think I need to do 280,000 steps for the month which I think I'm still on track to do which is cool. Um, oh wait, no, I did the maths wrong because I thought it was 
wow. I'm so sorry if you have no idea what I'm talking about. Because half the time I don't. I've done the maths wrong because... <clears throat> oh, God, the hay fever's kicking in. I've done the maths wrong because I thought... Uh, March was four weeks long. So I fucked the calculation up. Let me just bang on my calculator right here. Um, so... We're, let me just check March has 31 days. I'm pretty sure it does. Yeah, 31. So I actually need to do 10 times 30. Okay, so I need to do 3,100 steps. Which means I am not on track I am not where I thought I was oh shit I'm gonna have to do a couple of big days just to make up for the week where I didn't hit 70,000 oh fuck and I just hit my mug in my tooth I'm not giving you the finger I'm just pushing my mug up with this finger it's just a coincidence Oh, my hay fever is so bad at the minute. Um, hay fever's bad and anxiety has been bad. And you know what? I'm Anxiety has been bad in a way where it's like not the brain side of the anxiety. It's the physical side. I feel so thankful that I managed to sleep last night because the night before last, it was so bad. I was so anxious. I was just laying in bed. And I think sometimes a Fitbit can be worse for you because I was just looking at my heart rate and I was laying in bed doing fuck all. My heart rate was it in the 80s, like 80 beats or whatever. When it should not be that high. Um, yeah, so the night before last, I just couldn't sleep. I was like, I felt like I was on the verge of a panic attack, but just really trying so hard not to get to that point um and then i use my google speaker thing thank you spotify for the free speaker um i that's not like a brand deal or anything by the way spotify just did a thing where you can apply to get a free speaker <laughs> um i use that to play white noise for me during the night and it's now got to the point where i've convinced myself i'll never be able to sleep without white noise but um, it wasn't working on that night. And it just, for some reason, the speaker just wasn't working. So then that was freaking me out even more. I just had to uh, put Gilmore Girls on on my iPad and just focus on the comfort show that is Gilmore Girls. But um, there's something about my anxiety that just kicks in in the night. It normally kicks in after dinner. I don't fucking know why it's very um horrible because that's the time when i'm just sat in the living room watching telly with my family so i don't know why that's when it kicks in um and like i said it's not even anxious thoughts it's just um the feeling so that's great when you can't even pinpoint why you would be feeling like that it's really fucking annoying i also notice the hay having hay i have really bad hay fever i say really bad like it's not as bad as some people's but it's kind of a constant it's worse this time of year but it's kind of always there um but my nose is always blocked i think you can probably hear it in my voice right now i don't think this this is a it's probably a little combination of morning voice but it is predominantly just hay fever <coughs> Um, yeah, my nose is always blocked and I've always been a nose breather, like all, all my life been a nose breather. So in the last few years to just have a blocked nose, it's just really weird to me. And I feel like it means that I sometimes, when I'm just laying very still and dormant, I feel like I sometimes forget to breathe. Um, which I think also messes up my heart rate possibly. I don't know all of this for a fact because I'm not a doctor, but that's just how it feels in the moment to me. Um, I don't know what I can do about the hay fever. I know you can get an injection for it, but I just honestly can't be 
bothered to go through with it. I also heard it goes in your bum and I don't want an injection in my bum. I don't know if that's true. Um, but you also have to pay for it. And you also have to ask for it at your doctor. And I have a pretty chronic fear of going to the doctor. Um, don't know if it's just because I've had the same doctor since I was a child. So the and nothing has ever changed. The building is still the same. The doctor is the same. So, and he's not the best GP. Um, so I don't know if that's just like instilled a childhood fear of me and I just get triggered by it. Um, even walking past it on my walks, I get a bit, ugh. I can probably count on one hand the amount of times I've been to see my GP in my adult life. So, I'm not a fan. And I know you could just say, change doctors, find a new doctor. Hello, I have anxiety, leave me alone. <laughs> I, I do know that the sensible thing is to change my doctor, but I could end up with an even worse one, so. I don't need you to tell me that I need to change doctors. I do know that. We don't need to have that conversation. And it's like my mum and dad, they had their COVID jab at the doctors. And I'm like, I will do anything not to have my COVID jab at the doctors. Thank you. Like my, in the next town over from where I live, they're doing it at a shopping centre. And I'm like, I'll go there. Thank you. I don't care if it's in an old sports shop. I will go there for my jab. I don't, I, I will travel for my jab, even though the doctor's is a five minute walk away. <laughs> Um, but yeah, and I've tried like nose sprays and stuff. I don't like how they feel. I don't like how it goes down and hits your throat and it just feels weird. And I've got one of these nasal inhalers for when you've got a cold and that. They work for about two seconds and then they don't work anymore. It's just like the things that I have to have by my bed. It's just getting a bit ridiculous. I mean, I don't actually use this Sudafed spray because, like I said, I don't like nasal sprays, but I bought it in the hope that I might like it. I've got this Total De-Stress Pulse Point Rollerball thing, which I don't use every night, but if I am really feeling anxious for no reason whatsoever, I will use that. Got my nasal in inhaler in case I really can't breathe through my nose. I might just take a little hit of that right now. And then I've got two rescue remedies. This one needs to go in the bin, actually. It's empty. These are for anxiety, and I have no idea if they work, but they are part of my nighttime ritual, just in case they do work. This one has vitamins in, so that's great. Yeah, I just put some drops of that on my tongue. I have no idea if it works. Could be a total placebo, I don't know. Oh yeah, and I've got this as well right next to my bed. Natural Health Salt Inhaler with Himalayan Salt. That was to try and help my open my nose passage, but I uh, <laughs> uh, don't think it really did anything. And it tastes quite horrible and salty, so I don't really vibe with it. I don't know, I just find it weird. Because before lockdown, for my whole life I've always had anxiety but the physical side of anxiety would only really manifest itself if I was thinking about something that made me anxious so if I was thinking of I don't know if I was thinking of applying for a job or something I would get that pit of the feel pit of the stomach not feeling where I'm just like oh I couldn't physically do that it's making me feel anxious just thinking about it but then last April, I just had a week of just feeling deeply anxious for a reason I couldn't put my finger on. I don't know, you could say like we were in a lockdown, but I thought I felt okay in the lockdown. Like I was just happy to be off work and having some chill time. Like I thought I was okay. So I don't know why the physical side of anxiety is start has manifested itself in the last year i mean i do we're in a global pandemic but i'm i'm fairly confident in my brain that i'm okay with the pandemic <laughs> as okay as you can be you know like i have a very minimal risk i don't see people i just go out on walks like i can like 
get to grips with everything in here. It's just here hasn't told the body that. Um, got no idea if this makes any sense. And it's pretty early for this kind of deep chat. It's only 8 a.m. <laughs> I've been up since five. But, um, yeah, I was so happy that last night was not a repeat of the night before. I did still put Gilmore Girls on to go to sleep, and I actually did go to sleep with my lamp on. I felt like a little kid. I had to have my lamp on. <laughs> I don't know why. I just... Everything just feels worse at night. And it must just be because you're in darkness and there's n you. It, it's not a normal thing to get up and do things to take your mind off being, not being able to sleep, especially when you live with other people. If I lived alone and I was feeling anxious and couldn't sleep, I'd probably get up and do things like, I don't know, put a load of washing on or like things like that. But that's just not a really normal thing to do when you live with other people. Um, so, yeah, I don't even mind that I wake up at like five or half five this morning because I did get a full night's sleep. I don't think I recall waking up in the night. If I did, I don't remember. So it ate my business. I'm going to wrap this chat up for a bit because mum just got out of bed and she'll probably come in here and speak to me in a minute. So, <clears throat> yeah, speak later, gang. Hello, good morning. Today it is... March the 27th, about 10 to 9 in the morning. I am aware this vlog is super long, so I won't take up too much more of your time. But um, I just feel like I haven't vlogged in a few days and it just feels weird not to, even though I am aware that this vlog is a feature length film at this point. Um, it's a beautiful morning, but it does appear to not be staying. It's going to get a bit grim, so I'm going to head out pretty soon for a walk before we lose the lovely weather um yesterday was horrendous it was so windy and rainy that we actually got a leak come through our hallway ceiling um so that came from the roof through the loft and then through to the ceiling so um that's not good we literally decorated the hallway uh last autumn so it's very freshly painted so that's annoying hopefully we can get someone out pretty quick to take a look at it um yeah bit annoying luckily the leak hasn't been on because we store loads of stuff in the loft and it's mainly like um nostalgic stuff so like baby stuff and things like that stuff that i really wouldn't want to get ruined um but yeah luckily it wasn't anywhere near that so yeah, I'm going to go out for a walk, I'm not going to take a jacket with me, I might take a cardi just in case it does turn while I'm out, but I'm going to play it a bit risky. I'm just wearing, you can't really see because the light is so bright, but I'm just wearing some vintage dungarees. Um, they're a bit of an awkward length really, I did cut them already. Um, but because they're kind of wider leg, they don't really work if you fold them up, so they're just a bit awkward. And then I've just got some statement socks and these trainers, which I hardly ever wear, but I think they're pretty cool. In a kind of, I don't know, 13-year-old me would have been obsessed with these. Actually, no, not 13-year-old me. I was in my emo phase then. 11-year-old me would have been obsessed with these back in the day. So, yeah. I'm going for a nice sunny walk. Hi, I was just editing the vlog and just totally realised I never ended the vlog. Um, so I'm just going to quickly end the vlog now. Um, it's April now, so I actually need to start my April vlog. Um, and yeah, uh, I never updated you guys on my steps. I know most people probably don't care, but you know, it was kind of a big talking point of the video. Um, so my goal was basically 310,000 steps for the month and I ended up doing, it was around 300, 356,000 so I was like 46,000 steps over which I was really pleased with because you know one week I didn't, there was one week where I only, I was like 17 steps, 17,000 steps off my target so I was pretty happy with that. Um, I just picked 
a bit of like crystallized spot off my face um so yeah that's kind of it i am ending the vlog uh, i've been filming some other videos so they should hopefully be with you soon and thank you so much for watching i'll see you soon